Hello everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Y. Uh, I am just firing off my uh, go live tweets. Uh, gameplay will be up very shortly. Uh, but my name is Dizzy, and welcome. Uh... Goodness gracious me, this the music is very loud on my end. I don't think it's very it doesn't look very loud on OBS. Uh but it really is in, in my headphones. Uh oop. All right. Uh we are here. This is our little title screen, that's the mini dizzy. Uh and the first thing I wanted to, to show off. Uh, while the game is deciding if it's going to appear or not, I guess. There we go. Uh, is down at the bottom. We have now a little uh, team roster thing. Which I might try and get updated. Uh, uh, keep updated. As we uh, go on. Uh, you can see at the start we have... Uh, well, we have uh, a few stock images for some of the team members who we're not sure if we're going to be keeping around yet. Uh, but our little starter down here, uh, this is Fennel, the Fennekin, uh, and Saska, the Rout, who we're going to be taking with us through all the way to being a Brinkson and a Gardevoir, respectively. Uh, they've got their own, they've got their own thing going on. Ugh. Right. Uh, that is me just about wrapped up. Let's jump right in. Uh, not actually with... Uh, just... Uh, lo loading up the save as null, because I actually have been super sneaky. Uh, and... I played off stream a little bit. I had a couple of things, uh, but the main thing that I did was... I bumped into a Wild Raiolu, which uh, I mentioned last time as being a Pokemon I'd like to have and maybe add to the team. Uh, so I thought I'd, I'd drop down a, a save where we uh, found him and see if we can add this boy to our party. I just realized I've got my emulation speed down to 90%. That's why everything feels like it's running just a little bit slow. Uh, okay, bubble doesn't do a lot, but that's fine. You can endure as much as you like. Actually, enduring is really good for me. Bip. Uh, I think I can will throw one more at you. Yeah. Amazing, Riley is now one of ours. Riley? Riley? I don't know why I said Riley. Oh well, at least we found a nickname for it. Uh, <laughs> hey, it is a female Riley as well, huh? Weird coincidence. Uh, the aura that emanates from its body intensifies to alert others if it's afraid or sad. Yes. I don't know how you spell Riley, but it's probably like that. Uh, okay, so we need to head back into town to uh, pick up O'Reilly and... Oops. Somebody else is around. Bumblebee. Hello. Uh, we can run from this for now. Oh, no, we can't run from this for now. Uh, 
Uh, we have a Fion. Fion has their own alternative spelling of Riley, which uh, it's come a little bit too late. But also welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm having a great stream. Uh, all... How long have I been live? Six minutes of it. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm super stoked for this game. <laughs> Fion is adding additional GHs uh, to the point where it becomes... Almost illegible. I don't want to do this. I want to move, which is for some reason called organize in this gen. All right, here's a Lorelo. We're swapping out the baby. <laughs> Sadly, I don't know where the, the name rater is, so I can't add any of your increasingly complex spellings. Uh, but I feel like we're approaching sort of Cthulian levels of. Of, of Ryolu spelling here. Uh, right, you're up there. Uh, no, you leave. Power of the PC. Uh, and now it's time for you to show the other thing that I was doing off stream, which is uh, if we have a look at old Fennel the Fennekin down here, you'll see a massive bulge in uh, special attack and speed. Uh, and if I just flick over to Ralts, uh, you will see something very similar. Uh, Fen also has a bit of special defense. Uh, I spent a while watching... Goodness gracious me, what was it? I think actually I was watching you, Fion, playing Peglin or something. Uh, and just sat here tapping a screen, super training them. Uh, until they've got about 200 EVs each in special attack and speed and uh fennekin has something like 50 evs in special defense as well uh feels <laughs> you know, like i know all this means for sure um uh in in summary pokemon stats improve as you train them based on Normally, the other Pokemon they defeat. So if you defeat lots of defensive Pokemon, then your Pokemon becomes more defensive. Uh, and super training is just a way to like short circuit that process and get lots of these points in a stat without leveling them up. Uh, so theoretically, when Ralts and Fennekin next ding, uh, they might be noticeably more powerful than they would otherwise be at this level. Uh, I'm going to, on my overlay, hopefully, swap out the baby for a Riolu. There we go. Uh, so now we know, actually, you can come up into... Sorry, Zemeral. You can come up into slot 3, because you're potentially going to be a permanent team member. Although the spelling of your name may not end up being permanent. Uh, and with that, as I'm talking about super training... I've also prepared and got uh, some attack bag L's sat around waiting for you, so you can work on those while we're going. And at the same time, let's drop you in the front slot. Uh, get everyone healed up. And we'll see about finishing off Route 22 before we head up to uh, Lumio City. Big exciting city. I'm fairly confident that it was the largest like single location in Pokemon up to this point. Uh, and obviously it doesn't feel that big now with Gen 8, Gen 9 places. Uh, but at the time it was, I remember it being kind of crazy. Alright, where have I been? Have I fought you? Probably. Have I fought you? Yes, apparently. Have I fought you? Yes. Oops, we got a wild bomb. Hello, Psyduck. Uh, are you going to have a psychic move that will wreck my day? Because I'd really like it if you didn't. I just don't know what moves I have. Uh, not a great selection. Ah, no, this is going to be a real slog if I keep you in, so let's swap to Pikachu. 
Uh, anyway, Fion, how has your day been? Uh, I realise that for me the day has not been very long. I've only been up for like an hour. Uh, which is one of the reasons why the stream didn't start on time. Uh, but other people may have been wonderful and productive up to this point. Alright, bye bye duck. Okay, have I fought you? Yes, oh, I've already asked you. Have I fought you? Yes, apparently. Have I fought you? No, I haven't. Okay, there is actually someone new on this route. Oh, and you have a flabebe. Of course you do. Uh, Fion says, I don't know about productive, doing some chores now, trying not to get trapped in the mental health spiral. I mean, chores sounds very productive. Uh, I absolutely feel you on the, the mental health spiral front, though. Goodness gracious. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! 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 Okay, let's change out for somebody else. <laughs> uh, let's throw out Shaskor. Oh, I have Flower Veil now. I don't know what that does. But it's nice that I have it. <laughs> Sassy Kajor won. That they were she was very insistent upon this particular spelling of of Saska or Shaskor or however it's supposed to be pronounced. I don't know how you pronounce this version without the H. Uh Uh, and if you have a look at her little, my little hand drawn art, she's hopefully going to get some cool shades as she evolves uh, to make her slightly sassier. Okay, mercifully, you only had one Pokemon. Is it the cutest thing ever? Well, it certainly hurt a lot. I can tell you that for free. Uh, okay, is this the Pokemon League? Oh, it's got some big music, so probably. Nope, okay, that's fine. Who's this lassie? Okay, she's here to tell me that I can't go through. That's fine. What is on the other side? I've got a map somewhere. Back, key items, down map. That's where I was, and then on the far side is Snowbell City. Ah yeah, the, the ice place is always late game. I don't know why the ice place is always late game. But ever since Gen 2, if there's been an ice place, it's always been at the end of the game. Oh, there's a lovely little item for me down here. A super potion. Very nice. Alright, that's where Route 22 finished. Uh, all one person who was there. Uh, we do still need to heal. I was kind of hoping the Flabebe might not have any uh, berry attacks, is why I was willing to risk leaving Ryolu in on it. But we did not succeed. Uh, an important thing that I've just remembered is I want to go in and switch your move orders. So you need confusion at the top. You need quick attack at the top. Uh, let's put counter in third as well. Drop a save, our first save since we actually caught Ryolu. Uh, it's good that we did that, because I forgot otherwise, and time to head north properly. Now we've we've stuck our toes out onto this route to grab routes, but there's a lot more to explore. 
including mazes. Do do do. Oh, in the grass. Ah, <gasps> Lady Bar, the best boy. Oh my God, the noticeably more powerful than me at this stage, boy. Ah, uh, hang on. That's going to be annoying. Ow. Oh my god, we're going to do no damage to this thing at all. Okay, we'll keep bubbling it. And then, uh. When I'm low enough on HP, I'll just start throwing balls. Which might actually be like now. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we're not doing very well, are we? Hooray, we snapped out of the confusion. And as long as it keeps missing us with supersonic touch wood, we can keep lobbing bubbles at it. Ow, okay, right. It's time to go for the catch. I've not damaged this thing as much as I would like. Lady Bar is one of those Pokemon that, that I really, really love. I absolutely adore its pieces. I've never used it because Ledian isn't that great stat-wise. So even when I've sort of started out having it on a team for a while, between it's not that great moveset and it's not that great stats, it's never ever made it to like, I think even a halfway through the game team, let alone the final game team. Uh, no, you can keep your old moves. Yes. Lady about the five star Pokemon. Uh oh, yes, you need a name. Uh I wonder if Lords and Ladies will fit. Uh, where are my special characters at? And oh yeah, I could just go for an N, uh, especially as I can't find the N symbol. Oh, that's not how I expected that to work, but okay. I might not have it in this. Uh, Pokemon's gone through a, a few iterations of what characters it does and doesn't have available. Uh, okay, grab Pokeball, Super Potion. That's going to be handy later. When I was young, I it always used to feel like cheating using items and stuff in battles. And then, when I was a bit older, I'd sort of worked out that actually the more powerful enemy trainers, i.e. the ones that might actually give you trouble, they also use items in battle, so it no longer felt like cheating. And then Gen 9 happened, and the trainers, as far as I could tell, don't use items in battle again. 
So I'm like, well, is it cheating again now? Uh, and I still, I still ended up doing it just because I wouldn't have actually survived a lot of the battles in Pokemon Scarlet without using items. Uh, oh, hello. Am I going to be able to sneak past you? I think I'm going to have to. Right, okay, now you can fight me. Oh, you've got a Corphish. We can fight a Corphish. Gardener Will Wheaton wants to battle. Oh, that's going to hurt. Ow. Uh, you know, if he's going to do that again, I might do a lot better using counter. Oh, you swine! Oh, you swine! <laughs> I hate it when the enemies have way better prediction than me. Alright. Ryolu, you're still kind of underleveled and can't hold your own in a fight. Uh, Pikachu, you're going to have to take over. Oh, what? This guy's got a counter for everything. Oh my god. That really did weaken electricity's power. Uh, do I have anything else I can do? I can play nice so that he hits me less. Uh, but I might have to actually get routes up for this one. <laughs> that hurts a lot. You know, that hurts a lot, a lot. I'd like it if you stopped doing it, actually. Let's throw out, uh, Bud You. Because you have the resist. Ow. Oh my god, that hurts so much! I hope this gets you back lots of HP. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, <laughs> Things are looking a bit dicey there. Okay, everyone's leveling. Oh, Stun Spore! A very useful move. Ryan is dinged again. I mean, Ryan has gained... What, three levels in about quarter of an hour? That's not bad going. Hello. Oh, an antidote, that's not helpful. Okay, there's a skater boy up there. Oops, that's the end. Uh, I've got to go back and heal, actually. After that fight, again. We're gonna end up being sick of this Pokesynth music and this town's music. I can't get more than like five feet without Ryolu being mortally wounded. Ah, okay, but the, the way up the middle is actually fairly clear. Oh! Pearl Fact Fountain. Acceptance creates harmony. Lovely. 
Oh, hello. I did not realise there was another one of you. Non-stop victory, you say? Oh, is this thing going to have a flying type attack? Is it going to know gust or is it going to know wing attack? Uh, honestly, there's no point leaving you in either way, is there? Uh, if it's wing attack, it might be a one shot. If it's gust, then I can't counter it. <laughs> either way, Pikachu's got the resist. It's Gus, there we are. Let's play Pikachu versus Pidgey like it's Gen 1. Uh, yes, you can get quick attack. Uh, you can lose Growl. Because Growl is... just a different version of Play Nice. Ta-da! Alright, Ryle is level 10. Maybe now you might actually be able to do something! Although it would definitely help if you had a proper fighting type attack. Hello? Right. Let's wander into this person's way. Have a small crash. Uh... Another flying type mon! It's just not my day, is it? It's just not my day. Uh, that's how it's Zuma, because you've got the, the water type attacks. Ow. Oh! Fletchling, of course, isn't actually a Fire-type yet, so having the Water-type attacks doesn't help. <laughs> Try and remember these things, Dizzy. Ow. Okay, the bird is paralysed. That might be the only thing that keeps us alive. Well, it's not dead yet. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Right, do I think I can kill this with a quick attack? I gotta try. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> oh, these incredibly low stakes, low level battles are still being really, really dicey. Uh, yeah, you can learn faint. I think it has power 30, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. I'll drop India, because India isn't helpful. Uh, oh, okay. I suppose that makes sense. As a hobby. Right, how much more root is there? Quite a lot more root. You're a Poke fan. Okay, so you might have all sorts of interesting Pokemon. Oh, 
Oh my god, I can actually do something. Amazing. A Pokemon that's weak enough for me to hurt. Oh, you swine. There we go instead. Uh, no, I can keep battling. If you just have a bunch of Burmy, that's fine by me. Although, I suppose if you're going to pull out the Steel-type Burmy, that will be very slightly more annoying, but only very slightly. Oh, okay. Maybe you're not steel type. Oh. Hooray, we did it, gang! Alright. Uh... Ooh, a Poison Barb. That would be very useful if I had any Poison-type Pokémon. Or Pokémon with Poison-type moves. I guess the way on is through this child. <laughs> oh, Pat. You've been ad. Oh, it's always sad when you see the, the NPCs that are like, Look how excited I am about this magic up! I tell you what, Ryan has got the uh, the old critical hits off quite a bit as well. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable though. He's still excited even though it's terrible. That's what's important. Uh, I think Ryan now outlevels. Shaskor, so let's drop you up front. You're less likely to struggle with things than Ryulu is. Uh, though there is another Gardener. With another corfish. I've got shell armor now. I don't know what that does. Uh, I'll look it up on the side. Ow, that kind of hurt, but it's not so bad. Uh, shell armor prevents critical hits. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't really worried about that either way. See, that was so much easier than the faff of Pikachu and Ryulu and Budyu. I ran into Ramos from Kumarine City. Okay, I'll look out. Is there like a gardener's network uh, of, of people sending messages to each other secretly around France? Uh, on down. Uh, sure, I'll beat up this guy. Hi there. 
Oh, God. The emulator really didn't like that. Alright, I now have static, which doesn't help, because I think this is the first gen where electric types are just blanket immune to paralyzation. Oh, and it also doesn't help. Because the Pichu didn't last that long. Welcome to level 12. Now, what kind of a stat boost are you going to get here? Actually, not very much of one. Ah, and you learned how to teleport. That might actually be useful at some point down the line. Uh, we'll keep you in for now. See how much we can do to this Pikachu. Okay, the Pikachu is, is utterly powerless and useless against us. Bye! Uh, okay, there's one gardener up there. He's guarding a Pokeball. Uh oh. I think he's now got us stuck. Whoops. That's fine. I think we can sneak around the, uh, the flowers. Ah, you've also got the corefish. Oh, it's because the, the corefish can, like,. They're like hedge trimmers with their claws. I see. Okay, this all makes sense now. Right, that's gonna hurt a moderate amount. In fact, it's probably time, once we grab this item, it's probably time for us to teleport back to a Pokey Center. Because there's only a couple of trainers left. Uh, and then we'll be hitting the big city. Ooh, a netball. I do love a netball. Right. Uh, Shaskor, use a move. Teleport. A poor man's fly. Uh, who do I want up front? No, let's leave Chasco up front. Small child does best Navi impression. Oh, I think this was a good call. Got natural cure, which I guess probably removes status from us. <laughs> right, okay, this could be a double battle. Got the top prompt that I want up front. Hi, gang. Okay, you're not here to fight me. Have you ever heard of a Pokemon called Flabebe? Yes, I've got a few. Does everyone know this about me? Flabebe is a fairy type Pokemon, a new Pokemon. <laughs> 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 
You've been battling fairy type Pokemon against other types of Pokemon at Professor Sycamore's request. My name's Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. Unfortunately, you have it. And you're called Dexio. Named after the Pokédex. Okay. Sure. Well, I don't think very much of uh, Dina or whatever the hell her name was. Oh, and I don't think very much of this music either. Uh, oops. Oh, I wanted to have a chat with the nice lady. Oh! PM return. That's nice. Return's a pretty decent move. Uh, actually, especially in this gen, where TMs are reusable, we're going to have a look up what Return's base power is. Uh, friendship over 2.5. Oh dear. Uh, I have to look up what the base friendship is. Pokemon's friendship is generally set when the player first obtains it. When the Pokemon is first caught from the world, its friendship starts at its base friendship value. What is my base friendship value? Seventy for Iolu, which is not that great. Uh, okay, so the move might not be that powerful just yet. Did you say this already? Oh, Ryler's finished with his punching bag. Let's get you a new one. Alright, I thought you guys said you were going to show me where the lab is, but you've literally just shown me the way into the city that I was going into anyway. Oh, and this place is so big! It's designed for navigation by the, uh... It's designed for navigation by the roller skates, but... I obviously don't have great control with the roller skates. Right, okay. What have we got here? Is this a... Oh god, the camera! Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, hell. Wow, navigating this place is awful. And there's a bajillion buildings around. Transportation. Right, the go go shuttle. Is out because of the power. Can I get up to the upper floors? I'm not sure why there being a blackout means you can't work as a cab driver. Maybe all the cabs are electric powered? I suppose that would make sense. Alright, okay. That was weird. Fernal and Estepal. I guess so. I don't know what those words mean. Wow, this is a building full of really weird people! Like, uh, abnormally weird people. <laughs> Even for a Pokemon game. Uh, okay. 
let's do this in a sort of a vaguely sensible fashion. We'll explore buildings one at a time. Pokemon Lab, Trainer PR Video Studio, and Coffee Eclipse. Ah yes, Coffee Eclipse does fur through hairdos, because that's a thing in this gen. In addition to fashion for you for the first time in the Pokemon game, you also have fashion for your dog. I can't believe that you're the professor's assistant. Oh my god, this is a big lab. I don't know, I've never been to a lab with its own receptionist before. Uh... Sycamore researchers, Pokemon Evolution. I guess this is the lift? It's not very safe! It's not very safe at all. You can afford a receptionist, but not a proper lift! Uh... This guy is is juggling Pokeballs in like one of those sonic suspension devices. Ooh, okay, fantastic. Luxury balls. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame I didn't have those for catching Ryulu. Let's go up to the top floor, which I guess is where Sycamore is. Well, he apparently, like everyone else, knows everything there is to know about me. Uh, sure. I want to see what the poster says. Oh, it doesn't tell me? That's mean. Ooh! That's going to be handy as well. I'm actually going to use that straight away. I'm going to give that to Raiolo if I can. Oh. Nope, I can't. Never mind. I'm very surprised, actually, that you're not a full swiper. Right, it's pleasure to finally meet you. How's your journey going so far? I do have a certain je ne sais quoi, apparently. Uh... <laughs> but then I learned the Raihon race of Grace and her dogs were moving here. Okay, right. Oh, Shona's also here. And um, Carmen, or whatever the hell his name is. Uh. Okay, we're gonna have a battle with Sycamore, are we? Sure. Let's put Ryan about front. I don't know how tough this is going to be. Did I just save? I don't remember. We'll do it again. Just so you know, I'm not that tough. Okay, well that's good, because I'm probably not ready for you if you are. Okay, you started with Bulbasaur, which is a shame, because it means I should have started with Fennekin, but that's fine. Okay, we outlevel you fairly handily. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, leech seed though. Okay, never mind. I changed my mind. This is going to be a problem. I really hope leech seed doesn't stop me from switching out. Otherwise, that really, really is going to be a problem. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't care about my attack because I'm not using it. My special attack is much better. Oh wow, you got wrecked. Uh, yes, let's switch in. Uh, let's switch in. Shaska? I feel like Squirtle's defense is probably better than Charmander's defense. I can get Torrent, which doesn't help me at all. Oh, Jesus. You're pretty chunky in general, actually. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, that didn't hurt that much. I told a fib. Okay. Let's try Riley again. Okay, he's going for an accuracy lowering strat. This is potentially going to make this fight really annoying. But I only have to hit it once more. Bye bye! Okay, Professor down. Large financial reward. Right. I'm an interesting Pokemon trainer. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay! I was not expecting this. We've got the choice of another Pokemon. Um... Hmm. Well, I suppose this is going to be one that we're going to be able to Mega Evolve later, isn't it? Uh, although, to tell you the truth, I don't know that I'm really interested in bringing a Gen 1 starter along. So I think whoever I take will probably end up just kind of sitting in the box. Uh... Oh my god, their, their heads are <laughs> very oversized in focus. Uh, I guess let's grab Bulbasaur Boy. Because I do love Bulbasaur. And if I'm not doing anything with them... Oh, okay, I have to, I have to add it to my party, do I?
So this is just bubble full sword. I'll give you this mega stone. Oh wow, okay, well that was easy. My first mega stone. Ah, okay, so everyone else is also going to get one of these. So maybe I should have chosen more wisely. Uh... Right. Okay, so he wants to know about Mega Evolution. A new kind of evolution that occurs in battle. So I gave you that Mega Stone just now, it's an important clue. Okay, so maybe we should check out Camphria Town. First, accept the ways of living and thinking that sometimes conflict with your own. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Fantastic, wonderful. Okay, they've just got the same thing to say that they had already, basically. Well, that was nice. Uh, hello. Oh! Oh, hello! This is, uh, spoiler alert, I think, the big bad, Lysander. Why is everyone so obsessed with me? Jesus Christ! Dizzy, Dizzy, come here. Hello. I'm one of the chosen ones. He's Lysander. I've tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. I have a holocaster. Do I? Do I have a holocaster? Is that one of the things on my bottom screen? Ah, yes, you can tell that they're a Pokemon bad guy because they talk about improving the world instead of just, like, leaving it be. There are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex gives you a chance to learn about them. Thanks, lady. Uh, is one of these a holocaster? No, this is a player search system. This is Pokemon Ami. I want super training. Huh, okay. What the hell's a holocaster then? Oh, it's this. The device that allows users to receive and view hologram clips at any time. If I have a holocaust, I can view video messages from your friends and other people at my convenience. Okay, I guess that's like a multiplayer feature. <laughs> um, weird, but okay. Oh, hi gang. There's a place I want to go check out. Bye. I'll wait for you in Café Soleil. Okay, I don't know where that is. Yeah, why is he keeping secrets from people? Go to Camphria Town, leave the lab, turn left, go straight. Cafe Soleil, Kowloon was talking about it's over that way too. If you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. Um. <laughs> Um. Okay, so that that's where the story is. It's over there somewhere. Uh, let's drop down the save so I don't have to go through all that again. Got the PR video studio. I don't think that I'm desperately in need of PR. 
be honest. Everybody blooming already knows who I am anyway. I don't see why I need PR. Uh, hello? Jam 10 seconds of video with every atom of my awesomeness. You know what? Sure. What's my style? Energetic. But don't, please don't put me in like a tracksuit. Okay. Right. Well, that all happened very fast. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> what is that? Okay, right. Well, let's never do that again. No. Okay. Right. Christ, who's this person? Exclusive green room. Oh, and this is the, the, the change of clothes, which I don't have any yet. Or not any good ones. This exclusive green room doesn't seem that exclusive. Sure. Oh, okay. I can have eyeshadow. Sure. Oh, okay. It doesn't even last. Okay, right. Fine. Uh, Riley's just done with another bag. Oh, actually, I have a I have a notepad <laughs> that I've been keeping track of uh, all of my uh, super training on. I need to add a new entry for Riley. All right, uh, let's throw on another large bag. Yes, there you go. You enjoy that, that'll make you hit harder. You uh, can make a Pikachu only PR video. I'm not sure why I'd want to. Who's this lady? Oh, she's giving me a lens case. Is this something for PR views? Contact lenses in different colours. Ah, okay. Right, I can change my eye colour. Let's try that now. Oh, I don't have that many different colours. Uh, I've also got a box. Oh, I can now do PR videos by computer. That's not good. Right. Bulbasaur, you're off the team. LucasAid, you're back on the team. There we go. Okay, well that was a very weird five minutes. I won't lie. Right, I guess this is Trivial to tell me that Campria Town is this way. Have you been to the cafe already? No, I haven't. Okay, you won't let me go until I've been to the cafe. That's fine.
We're just going to check out every every building, basically. I still have to catch Pokemon. Ooh, a Quick Claw! Uh... I'm actually going to use that right now. Can I really not scroll this by the touch screen? Okay, fine. Give that to Azimarill, because Azimarill could probably use it. Oh, I'd love to have a Miracle Seed. Unfortunately, I don't. Okay, something about studying catching Pokemon, so I might be able to filch a few Pokeballs from these people. Some Esper. Esper is adorable. Uh, if I wasn't using Routes this run, I might use Esper and Meowstic this run. Ooh! Diamond Balls, fantastic. Free stuff. <gasps> Quick Balls! One of the best balls in the game. It's not really, it's not actually like particularly that much better than like an Ultra Ball. It might not even be at all better than an Ultra Ball. Uh, But I still love to use them anyway. Uh, right, we're still on South Boulevard. I don't even know where this cafe is that I'm supposed to be looking for. Okay, these two are trading. Parallel Swizzle is a very cool technique which you swing your body left and right and skate as if you were dancing. Ah yeah, I can't do that. Okay, anyone got some free stuff for me up here? There's an adorable little fletchling. Hi there. God, that's dark and depressing. Okay, today I've picked up some existential angst. Uh, I much preferred the quick balls that I got in the previous house, but that's fine. About Pokemon only moves more quickly if they're not evolved, which I don't even know if that's still a thing in like Gen 9 or if they've taken that entirely. Fiona says no, those feels. Yeah, um. Ah, well, welcome back. Uh, it's lovely to have you still, as always. I think this is as far as I can go because he's going to tell me to turn around. And I can't go into those places. Skiddo looks so comfortable sleeping. Are the Skiddo just on strike? Is that what's really going on? Okay, there's another street here. I gotta try and ignore it. Uh... Oh, you're like a, a human street sign. Oh, this is the cafe, isn't it? Do I have a do I have a Pokemon battle coming up here against my rival? I don't think so. I don't think I have a rival battle until after Gen 2. So... Wait, is this the wrong cafe? Um... Excuse me? Sir? I am 16 years old in-game. Uh... Oh no. Okay, let's not ask about the in-game picture thing. To be fair, I did go to a photo spot, but it said it was under construction. Oh, there you are, hello. 
You you weren't at the cafe. Oh, you're at a different cafe. Why are you being all cryptic? Why did I need a separate cutscene just for you to tell me to come into the place that I was going to go into anyway? Uh... Oh, it's this guy again. And Diantha. I think she's the champion. Diantha says, for the intrigue, this. Maybe. Uh, this, this is the first Pokemon game that was very, very, like, story heavy in, like, having it all the time. Like a little cutscene here and a cutscene there. This neighbor, Lysander, is the head of Lysander Labs. It's created the Holocaster, a video messaging device. Sure. You already know about Diantha, right? She's one of the most famous movie stars in the world. Okay, no, she's not the champion. Why? Why does it matter to you what they're doing here? Stop being so nosy! Oh my god, Caleb! Well, that's a really creepy sentence as well. Uh. Okay. Why well, don't want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, it's not all there is to life. Okay. Good. Uh. Uh, this is some real sketch vibes here. Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. Oh my god, I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. You can tell he's going to be the bad guy, can't you? Jesus. Uh, Phil says, shank them. Sadly, I don't have a shank button. It would be a very different game if I did. Uh, I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. Jesus Christ. Uh... She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting, which is to say she dedicates her life to making other people happy. If only everyone were like her, what a beautiful world this would be. Um, I think. Right. We're gonna choose ourselves, Caleb, and she, like everyone else, she already knows who I am! <laughs> How?! Uh, oh, okay, that's fair. You both have lovely names, do we? Okay. Bye. I mean, that was sort of already going to happen. Uh, but this is his pitch at trying to become like the main rival out of all the rivals. I guess. Sure, whatever, Caelan. Uh... I drink two cups of coffee a day. The type of cake doesn't really matter. That's a terrible attitude. Both the amount of coffee consumed and the attitude to cake. Uh... Okay, so everyone here is like a paparazzi or a fanboy or something, basically. I heard Lysander's gathering of people for society's sake. Wow, that's so rude to the Pokemon Solrock! I can't believe you'd say that about him. Okay, right. What else is on the South Boulevards? Quaffir Eclipse. Okay, this is Fur Through Haircut Day. Unless this is my hairdo. Ah, okay, because this costs money. Let's... Oh, I do want a different hairdo, though. Okay. I'll come back and speak to her. In fact, I'll save first. And that way, if she doesn't have anything I like, we'll just uh, get back our 3,000 pokey. Okay, hello. Uh, styling and colour. All over. Sure. God, that's so much money. I do also desperately need some more Pokeballs, I think. Uh... Sure? C 
Can I not choose a color color? Okay, right. Honey orange. None of the above? I want green. Can you do green? Oh no, and the, she's chatting with me. I hate it when hairdressers chat with you. Uh, actually, that's not true. I hate when, when male barbers chat with you. Uh, yeah, I don't know what any of this looks like. Um, so how am I supposed to know if I'm going to like it first? Okay. Fionn says, interesting distinction. Well, I mean, it's my experience of lots of male barbers, which I'd hope to never go back to, and one female hairdresser that I'd quite like to keep using as a hairdresser. So it's not exactly representative. That looks fine, I guess, sure. I'd still have preferred green, but maybe we're not there yet. Okay, amazing. We look a little bit more ourselves. Uh... Oh, there's a little alleyway. Let's not touch that just yet. Uh-oh. Oh, the game was not very happy with that. <laughs> Let's just drop a little save quickly. Pokemon Center. Fantastic. Okay, here we go in here. Oh, uh, Ryan is finished. Pow. I hate it when they... This is such a, a me quibble. I hate it when they say... The Pokemon's base attack went up. Because the post Pokemon's base attack hasn't gone up. It's its actual attack that's gone up. Oh, we have a E in the chat. Welcome. Uh, good start there. Uh, how's it going? Shouldn't you be in bed? I know I say this every time. Uh... Let's drop a, uh, a heal. I can't remember when the last time we healed was. He says, bro, I don't sleep. Oh dear. Would I like to trade Poke Miles for prizes? Info. What does that mean? Now, let's collect Miles when you trade Pokemon on the pass by people. Okay, right, so that's something I can't do on emulator. Uh, hi there. I'd like to buy some more Pokeballs. I'll leave it at that for now. Are you still just selling X items? No, you're selling TM! Ooh, very, very expensive TMs that I can't afford, but lovely, lovely TMs. Alright, okay. Uh, that's the Pokemon Lab. Oh god, I forgot how, just how many cafes there are in this game, it's far too many. Uh, then we have Cafe Introversion. Oh my god, that's my thing. Wait, I'm come to Cafe Introversion. I'm going to speak to everyone. That's a terrible idea. Uh... <laughs> this is a cafe where shy people who still love to communicate with others gather. What does that even mean? Uh, Wonder Trade. It's a great system. I do love Wonder Trade. 
thought I don't care about any of these things. I was hoping you'd give me free stuff or at least tell me something interesting. You did, neither. Right, hi there. Comfortable and unpretentious in this game? I highly doubt it. Restaurant Lena. <laughs> <laughs> Astonishing. Tell me more. The double battle meal at our restaurant is a three course series, three double battles in a row. Our food is only served when it's perfectly ready, so we hope you'll enjoy battling as you wait. If you win each battle within the number of turns we specify, you'll find your meal superb. Okay. Oh no, it costs money to battle here? No thank you. Oh. And I can't go in proper to explore and chat to everyone. That's boring. Right, okay. That's the guy who tells me that the power's out. Okay, so let's go and find some roads further in. Oh, hello, Kebby. Wait. So the cabbies aren't out because the cabs won't go. The cabbies are just out because people are panicking. Is that what I'm understanding here? Okay, now I can't go down the alley. Can I go down the main street opposite the Pokemon Lab? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Uh, Ryan is also finished with another punching bag. There we go. Oh, excellent. Clothes shop. Wait, which one of you is saying that? Okay, you're saying that you're taking break by using Roost. Gotcha. Hi there! Oh my god, everyone like ambushes you as soon as you walk into a shop! Just let me browse! You're not as stylish as you could be. Wow, rude! Wow! Extra rude! <laughs> Unbelievable! Cafe classy, okay. So I guess I need to visit more places in the city before they'll let me in. So it's not to wear the same things as my Pokemon. Okay. Aren't you not dying to not know the lineups of various boutiques? You bet. Uh, is this telling me what I can buy in places? Okay. Ah, yes, the classic classy trench coat. Fantastic. Bars with ties and shirts. Uh, Silage City is sporty. Laver City. Uh, alternative? No, smocks. Smocks are definitely not alternative. Okay, I'm not going to read through all of these, Jesus Christ. Uh, the point is, there's too many of them. Okay, this is too far. The blackout, you can't go any further till it's fixed. Gotcha. Uh... Fiona says, <laughs> don't smock vape instead. Uh... I don't know what would happen if we replaced all smocks in the world with vapes. I suspect it wouldn't be great. Ah, this is the fur food place, I guess. Oh yeah, and it's like it costs so much money to get your fur food trimmed into a different form. And it doesn't even last forever. 
Would you like me to inform you of how long your fur fruit has kept this magnificent style? No, because I don't have one. Uh, Fiona says, some people would get chilly, that's for sure. <laughs> um, right, okay. I'm not spending 500 Pokey on a Pokemon that I don't own. Although, I guess maybe we must be able to find them somewhere nearby? If all this fur fruit stuff is here? Question mark? The hell is this place? Oh, this is the herbal medicine shop. Okay. Nothing. Ooh. Yuck. Alright. Oh, this is Vernal Avenue, I see. That's why the lady was asking me how to spell Vernal earlier. Oh, is this a stones shop? Ooh! Oh, they're not even that expensive! Ooh, okay. I definitely gotta remember that this is here. Although it does only currently carry three different types of stone. Does everyone know my name? Charizard, like, why? Sort of power stone that gives your Charizard shocking strength. For a million pokey. Gotcha. Feel says you're quite just a popular person, dear. I guess. But this is my first time playing the game, so they don't know that. Uh... What? What do you mean, look, it's not a metapod, Dad? You don't evolve metapods with a stone, child. Fiona says, word got around town fast. Blimmin' apparently! I've not even done anything yet! Uh, or, 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 side door. Okay, well, you're not funny. Alright, okay, I think we've now seen everything there is to see in Lumio's city for the time being. We've got our hair cut. We... He's dropped on someone being a bit creepy on a movie star. Yay? Question mark. Oh, I've received a holo clip. It's Tiano! Hi there! You're on Route 5. I'm assuming that's where I'm about to go. Did you need to tell me that? Like, I was already going this way anyway. Oh my god, you finished with another punching bag? Jesus. Uh, I don't have any medium punching bags left to give you. So I'm gonna throw on a speed bag. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see this goes to Route 5 because there's a big number 5 above the door. Hello. Can we miss the bonding? Right, gotcha. Mr. Bonding wants to talk to me about O powers, does he? Sir, I'm 16 years old. Uh, they can apparently make my Pokemon stronger or help me gain money. Uh, I can now use attack power and defense power. Which makes sense. Okay, that was weird. Please don't ever do that again. This is the way to Campria Town. If you're losing one in the city, I recommend entering a nearby shop. Oh! Hello! It's a Lucario! Hi there! Oh! And a roller skate person. Ah, oh, we have a show score. Welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, how's it going? Uh, I think 
theoretically, I can do this. It probably isn't going to work. Nope. My bot is obviously dead. Sigh. Uh, welcome. Yes, yes, we have a Fion as well. It's a, a, a lovely collection of human beings. Yeah, indeed. Uh, we're, we're, we're back in Pokemon. You've been doing well. Uh, I've just been bumped into by this random person. <laughs> Thanks, I think, Fion? Uh, I think special training with my Lucario when Sonic dashed off. Oh yeah, I guess he was interested in me. What's going on? My aura. Oh god, now people are after my aura as well. At least she doesn't know who I am. That's nice. The car can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to you. Kari is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Okay. Oh, you're a gym leader! Okay, that's cool. Collecting gym badges, so I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I guess you're a fighting type gym leader, then. Hi, Lucario. Uh, Shesko says, working on the pre-apocalyptic timeline of the post-apocalyptic D&D setting. Ooh. I had a a concept for like a post-apocalyptic D&D setting once. I spent so much time working on the pre-apocalyptic part that it ended up sort of just being a pre-apocalyptic D&D setting. I'd like I never really did anything for the post-apocalypse part. Uh... <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get over to that Pokeball? Uh, what's this place? This is a skate park. Oh no, do I have to grind the rails? Oh no. Well, this is going to be a total disaster. Oh, okay, that actually worked alright. I, I didn't have to do anything, I just had to walk at it. Uh, Shasko says, did Fionn see the polyamorous tag? Yes, they did! Uh... <laughs> uh... Right. Uh, okay, this might be a double battle. Have I got the right ones up front? I do, fantastic. Alright. Hello. Creepy children. What's the horror movie that has the twins in it? I can't remember. Twins, Faith and Joy. Oh, they have cute little uh, P P Pikachu plushies. Oh, and the classic double team. Jessica says, isn't it The Shining? Quite possibly. Uh, okay, what are we going to do? We're going to team up on one. I guess we'll team up on the Plusle? No, wait, hang on. We'll team up on the Minon. Oh, he's faster than me. How rude. Now. Right, do I think, I do think that Shaskor should be able to finish off this mine on, on her own. Uh, Shaskor says, real world Shaskor says, this DD setting is going to have a big archaeology element, so I need to make a lot of lore. Ooh, I'd love an archaeology DD campaign, that sounds great. The sake. Okay, helping hand. Did you both use helping hand? Really? Really, guys? <laughs> it's already like one of the least useful moves in all of Pokemon. Uh 
Oh my god. We're getting all of the XP though, Jesus. Dude! You don't even have a friend to use helping hand on, you idiot! Come on! Make this a bit of a challenge. How are two of you less difficult than that one corfish that I fought earlier? Um, Chesco says, I have a Word document of 10 pages transcribing ideas from various notebooks and a three-page one describing the timeline so far. Ooh, I love a, I love a good lot of uh, in-depth D&D prep. I love that. Okay, Duke. Right, I beat you up. <laughs> the child who just double battled me is asking what a double battle is. Wait, hang on. Is there another another grind rail up here? Oh, there's a grind rail over there. Okay, I don't know how to get to that. Uh, well, I guess we're about to find out what Pokemon live here. Tesco says, this setting has been on the back burner for the last 5 slash 6 years. I'm getting it on the front burner now. Do you have a, a party set up that you're going to be playing in, in the new setting? Or is it just, uh, you're just getting it ready for when you do? Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. This could go wrong quickly. Ow. Ow. Oh, this could kill me. Okay, it's fine. I only hit two times. Hmm. I don't know if I can survive this. Ow. Ooh, I'm alive! I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive! It's fine. Throw a Pokeball at it! Quickly! Uh, Shask says, no, it's still too early. I'm just getting enough ready now for a test one-shot slash mini-adventure. Always a good way of, of uh, trying out a setting. I have a whole group of people that I occasionally force through. D&D one-shots to test out new things. Ooh, Force Palm! Finally! A fighting-type move! Amazing. What do you actually do? Uh... Cool. What don't I want? Uh... Let's throw out Faint. I don't think I need Faint. Okay, you're about to become a lot more useful. And Pencham, who we might well be using if it weren't for the fact that we're using Rayalu. Oh, Shaska says also there's a time loop mechanic. Ooh. Like a, a long term time loop? Or like a, a three day time loop like Majora's Mask? Or like, uh, is it Majora's Mask or is it Ocarina of Time? It's probably Ocarina of Time, uh, on account of it having time in the title. I don't know, I've not played any of them. The only Zelda games I've played are Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. So all the classic Zelda stuff's a bit lost on me. Uh, it does its level best to glare and pull a scary face. It can't help grinning if anyone turns its head. <laughs> Cheska says Majora's Mask has the time loop. Okay, gotcha. Uh, is it going to let me have that? It is going to let me have that. Pansexual the Pancha. Wonderful. Uh, you need to be swapped out real quick because you'll die otherwise. Oh, you're paralyzed. Of course you are. How irksome. Uh, is there an item there? No, okay. 
But my friends are up here. Oh, a gulpin. Ah, now. You are... not gonna be able to let me catch this gulpin, because you'll kill it. So let's throw out Fennekin. Oh no! Okay, it's fine, I have avoided that. Oh, Annie had a berry. Uh, Seska says, I think it'll be a time loop of a matter of days to begin with, and a longer time loop after that, so they can go to new places and get fast travel for the end of the loop. Ooh, interesting. Oh, and I'm poisoned. I'm going to need to go back to a Poke Center and heal, aren't I? Uh, because <laughs> everyone's got something going on now. Uh, let's love a ball. So is this time loop, Shaskor, a thing that like just affects the party, or is it affecting the whole setting? <laughs> what a lovely, charming description that Gulpin has in the Pokédex. <laughs> Marvellous. Um, yes. Uh, Gulpin. You shall be called... Glup. There we go. Uh, Shaska says, basically the one shot will be the players working out what the deal with the time loop is. Uh, one sec. i got to figure out where I'm going. Like one. Uh, fix it, only to then later discover that what they thought caused the time loop was only cutting it short. I see. Back home. An Outer Wilds kind of situation. An excellent game. Uh, although, I guess mild spoilers for Theon, who might be playing it at some point? <laughs> Outer Wilds. Was there a suggestion that you might be playing Outer Wilds at some point? Space mystery game thing. Yeah, it's an excellent game, and I wholeheartedly recommend it, but uh, we'll work hard to, to, to say as little about it as possible. Okay, right. Friends. The annoying dancey one. And probably, I guess, the nerdy one as well? My goodness, Pokemon hordes are intense. Dude! Okay, we get that your one character trait is dancing. Haha! <laughs> Uh, Fionn says I'll be right back. Alright. Uh, Shaska says it's really good. You can tell the mechanics of it are inspiring a D setting. There. Uh, hi there, guys. Do my Pokemon know any sweet moves? Oh, okay. We're just fighting. Sure. Not you as well with the core fish. We'll zap you, the same way we zapped all the other ones. Hopefully you'll be a bit less of a pain. Being confused will help. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's okay if you if you need to lurk for a while, at least until you get a new ability. Well, that wasn't hard. I was sort of expecting you to have more than one Pokemon by this point in the game. Uh. Sesco says, I thought Luck was a different ability. Is there an ability called Luck? It wouldn't surprise me, but I don't know of one. Uh, Bulbapedia doesn't have it. Bulbapedia only has Lurking Shadow, which I guess is probably a move? You might be thinking of Golurk. No, Lurking Shadow is a Pokemon Masters thing, so no one cares about that. Uh, it really does seem as though Tiana can only think about dancing and moves. When the whole Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. You know, you're definitely a character... Because to my knowledge, there's no Pokemon dancing mechanic in these games. So you feel a bit adrift. Uh... Oh, honey. I love honey. Not... Love Honey, the brand. Um, using Honey will encourage Pokemon hordes to appear. If you're going to challenge a whole horde, you may want to use moves that can hit multiple targets, because otherwise the battle will take forever. Okay, he wants to find a Pokemon with Tita Dance. Maybe we can make that happen. There's nothing on there. Cheska says, I caught my first shiny in a horde. Ooh! My first shiny was a full odds random wild encounter in, I think, Gen 2, uh, when I was playing through a replay of it. Uh, actually, that's not true, because I also had the red Gyarados that's a static encounter, but I feel like that doesn't count. Oh, this is good music. Uh, okay, we're fighting against you, and you're suffering from insomnia? Ah, okay. It is going to be psychic type on psychic type, though. Okay, let's drop double teams, because this is going to be a long battle. So getting ourselves up to max evasion is probably going to help. Uh, Shaska says, my first shiny encounter was in Pearl. Found a golden Geodude on my way to a Poke Center to trade battle and had only my strongest Pokemon on me. Oh no, and killed it! Oh! Oh, what a disaster. Uh, I think my first shiny was a, a shiny tentacle on the, uh, the sea route in Pokemon Gold and Silver between... Cyanwood City and Olivine City. I think that was it. Uh, I've also encountered a shiny Zubat somewhere. Might also be in Gen 2. Oh, was the shiny tentacle actually in Gen 4, actually? Maybe. I don't remember things very well. Uh... Oh, hey! You're not supposed to have added evasion as well. That's rude, that's my shtick. <laughs> Shaska says, is your dream title a Steven Universe reference? Yes it is, because we're going to the big not New York City of the setting. Uh, in this case, definitely not New York, because we're in France, but uh, the, the big city of the game. Uh, so I thought, yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, and then in uh, Pokemon Scarlet Violet. Even though I've never been shiny hunting, just the, the mechanics of how that game works means I found I think four sh wild full odds shinies, even though full odds isn't actually full odds anymore because they halved the odds. Uh, so I found a, a shiny Hoppip which became part of my main team. Oh my god, that did so much damage! Jesus Christ, it's a good job I used all those double teams. <laughs> uh, oh, this is going to kill me, I think. Oh no, that's lowering my accuracy. Okay. Right. 
I see. So we're in a standoff where I can't hit him and he can't hit me. Uh... Okay, please die, please die, please die. Okay, thank goodness. Jaskor, you killed the Kadabra, well done. That thing was definitely stronger than you, so congrats. Woo! Ooh, that was rough. Uh, it's impossible to get a wink in with the Vital Spirit ability. Is that the ability your Kadabra has? Is that why you're telling me that? <laughs> That's because says I'm a pacifist. Uh, you you waited a little while to tell me that, friend. Uh, I'm not sure Pokemon has much of a place for pacifism. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you, actually, because you weren't here for it. Uh, but I also, I massively super trained you, so you have loads of EVs, and none of your EVs are in pacifism. Uh... Animal cruelty. Is it animal cruelty? Pokemon canonically love fighting. Oh, hello. Ah. I see, this is the, the hordes that you were mentioning before. Uh, I don't know if these guys are just going to kill you. <laughs> it's very possible that they might. Okay, no, they don't do enough damage that even if they all hit you with a pound, you won't die this round. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, let's let's swap out. Uh Museum Rail, do you wanna do you want to see if you can tank some hits? You're fairly chunky as a Pokemon. Uh, as ZRL, not as ZRL. Uh, ow. Oh god. Ow. Ow. That one did more damage. Ow. Okay, let's kill the middle one. Because it seems to hurt more. Oh! Oh, this hits everyone! Oh, amazing! I'm totally a strategic genius. Oh, it doesn't do very much damage. Oh dear. Uh, okay. I'm not a strategic genius. Ow. Ow. I might have to run away. Uh... Let's let's run. Let's leave. Cause this is a place of much pain. Oh, you're injured again. Wait, no, you're still the quickest way to get back home. Hang on. I think we did we we fought one trainer that, that heal. Congrats. Uh Jessica says some see here. <laughs> That's definitely me. Come on, heal faster, heal faster. Do I have a speed up emulation button? Configure controls. Uh. No, I don't think I do. Just because it's perfect time for the message on the other screen, which I, sadly I don't think I saw before it changed. Uh...
Right, okay, let's see if we can get a little bit further this time, team. Gosh, this is the same one, faster, faster, faster. Oh, yes, of course, I see. I'm with you now. Okay, we avoided the horrible gulpin encounter this time. Got a big hill. Uh, and then a grind rail all the way down again. Oh, hello. Oh, is this what berry trees look like in this gen? Okay. Oh, and a rock that normally hides a Finds an item, this kind of rock, but I guess this, these ones... There we go! There we go! Always click on the rocks! <laughs> Pokemon rules 101 and 102, respectively, are always check the rocks and always check the trash cans. Hi there! Synchronized checks with my Pokemon, we can't get our timing right. Ooh, and I see some flowers! Those might have blue Flabebe in them. Oh, you've got Cheek Pouch. I have no idea what that does. Cheek Pouch restores 33% of the Pokemon's max HP when it consumes a berry, after applying the effect of the berry. Oh, well. That doesn't help. <laughs> you can fit food in your mouth. Uh, oh, a Skiddo, yes. Let's throw out Benekin. Chaska says, should I go downstairs and grab some cake? <laughs> yes, you absolutely should do that. If you have cake in the house, it should be in your mouth. That's a principle I'm happy to stand by. Bye-bye. Chaska says, but it's leftover Mother's Day cake. Is it supposed to be for your mother? If so, then maybe that's acceptable. <laughs> BRB says Shaskor. Uh, we're fighting Florin. Hello. Oh my god, that did so much damage, Jesus. Alright, bye bye, Florin. <laughs> Route 5 is our street. We call it Versant Road. Place to be if you want to see some sick skating tricks and hot Pokemon moves. Now, this grind rail is interesting because there's a hole in the middle of it, but I guess that the hole doesn't do anything. Oh, hello! Is this a TM? Ah, oh, I guess this is maybe the first gen where they have a different sprite for TM Pokeballs. Uh, is there anything down there? I don't think I have an item finder yet, so I can't find out. Oh! Hello! Oh, I can't actually get past it. So I guess there isn't anything down there. And we got to walk back through the flowers. Oh! Woof woof! Sorry, it's a French dog. Uh, oof, oof. Right. Uh, I hope you're not a duck type. No, you're pure normal. Right. 
Let's pull him. Amazing. Furfu, the Poodle Pokemon. They were the designated guardians of the king. Ooh. Uh... I don't think anyone's around to see me give hideous nicknames to my Pokemon, so it's fine. Uh, is there anything down here on the right? Oh my god, it's just Skiddo as well. Hello! Are you a Gen 6 Pokemon, Skiddo? You are a Gen 6 Pokemon! Would you maybe like to replace Budu if I catch you? Oh. Ah, hmm. That's sort of an annoying amount of health to have lost. But it's okay. I could probably knock you down a bit more with a different Pokemon, but I don't think I need to. I think you're probably caught anyway. Yay, Skiddo is mine. Skiddo, the Mount Pokemon. It has sunshine and water. It doesn't need to eat because it can generate energy from these on its back. Presumably not if anyone's riding it though. Um You're a skiddo, you're gonna evolve into a go goat. Uh oh, because we were learning facts about it the other day. You can be cornucopia. Uh what level is Bud you? Are you the same level? You are. Okay, sure, let's... I'm gonna have a look at what's down here. Oops. Uh, a Bunnelby is down here. That's fine, we don't need you. And then we're gonna swap in Skiddo for but you. Nope, there's nothing there. Uh, Rayolu has finished that punching bag. Right, do I think that you're going to end up being a permanent member. Hmm. So I had a look at the, the list of Pokemon. Hang on. Uh, and there's, there's not that many Gen 6 Pokemon that I'm like super duper enthused by uh, in terms of might actually use them. Like Pyro I might if I hadn't started with Fennekin. Flogs I might if I wasn't using Gardevoir. Pangor I might if I wasn't going to use Lucario. Uh, Meowsic I might if I wasn't going to use uh, Gardevoir. Other than that, there's like Hone Edge, maybe. Uh, I really want, want to use Dragalge because I've never used one before and it's a version exclusive in this generation to Pokemon Y, so I definitely want to use Dragalge. Uh, I was considering Barbarical, maybe. Uh, 
as a potential alternative, I do love Auroras to, to death so much. I love it so much. Uh, there's Trevenant in this generation, who I've never used. There's Avalug. But other than that, there's not that many Pokemon. Uh, I think there's only something like 80 Pokemon that introduced this generation. Dedenny was another one, but I don't know that it's particularly that good. It's very cute, but I don't know that it's any good. Uh, Sheska says, For clarification, I left because my father's at the grocery store and wanted me to check what we were missing to make a salad. <laughs> Not for cake. Of course. Understood. Um, You did also grab cake. Good. Good for you. Yeah, okay. We'll say that at least for now... Uh, Skiddo, you're going to have permanent team member status. You're going to have semi-permanent team member status. Boink. There we go. Uh, Shesk says, this type of cake nearly always goes bad before we eat it all anyway, so might as well. Fair enough. What cake do you have? Ah, I'm just setting up. Oops. Setting up Skiddo. With his little icon. And we're going to put you spot four. There we are. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health, etc, etc. Shaka so says, Marzipan cake. I'm not sure if it's called that in English. I... I, I oh, I actually want to back to the Center. I think Marzipan cake is a good enough uh, thing that I have a gist of what it's about. It's a cake with Marzipan. Uh, um, oh, actually, if we're upgrading you to semi-permanent team member status, that's not the button I wanted to press. Whoops. Uh, there we go. You can go at the front. We'll get you some levels. Did I do a heal when I was at that Poke Center? I don't think I did. Oh well. I'm sure we'll be back there soon enough anyway. Shasko says, wait, the English word for blurt kaka is blurt kaka? I don't think blurt kaka is an English word for anything. Uh... If it was, I'd be more confident that I was pronouncing it correctly, for one thing. Uh... Oh, another skiddo. We don't need you. Although, we might not be able to run away from you. Okay, there we are. Uh, Shesko says, the most accurate translation of single words, go to the Norwegian Wikipedia article for it, switch the English article. That's what I get for Blurtkaka. I mean, it might just be that it's, it, as a single word it doesn't have a, an English translation, I guess? Question mark? Oh. Ryla was asleep. <laughs> right, and it's battle time. Oh, such good music. You're another rising star. Now, the last one was a bit of a pain. I hope you're less of a pain. Okay. Can the goat beat the Bidoof? Let's throw down a growth. Oh, okay. That hurts quite a bit.
Uh, oh, I'm actually part normal, aren't I? So I could have used... No, I'm pure grass. Okay, never mind. Blind Whip is the superior choice. Uh, Shaskor is asking me a cooking question. Oh! Oh, I got crit. Whoops. Uh, Shask says, what kind of cake do you get if you take sugar bread, which I don't know what it is, make it slightly soggy with juice, and cover it with cream or custard, and decorate with berries? I don't know, but it sounds kind of nice. That's the, that's the best I've got for you. Okay, let's work this guy. And then we have to go back to the Poké Center we were literally just at and heal, but that's fine. Uh, oh, there's she else swapping Pumikin. Shasko says Google Translate yields puff pastry. That seems very unlikely to me. I'm not going to rule it out entirely, I'm just saying it seems unlikely. Uh, if only Field were here, actually. They would probably know the answer to all of your food-related questions. Oh, you're not going to give any credit to your Oddish? Rude. Okay. Uh, Cesco says, as expected, puff pastry is not right judging by pictures. I tell you what, Chesco, as like my party's cab, you're you're, you're definitely MVP at the moment. Uh, oh wait, are you smiling at me because you've actually finished this back? No, okay, you're smiling at me because you're just happy about life. Uh, Shasko says, try googling for pictures of Blood Kaka Og Marzipan Kaka. To Google? I mean, to my untrained eye, it mostly just looks like a sponge cake covered in marzipan, although I'm not super certain what the filling is. The filling looks like there's sort of fruit in suspended in cream or something in the middle of it, perhaps? Different pictures look slightly different, but that's the general gist I'm getting. Another gulp in. At least it's not 8,000 of them this time. Says, hmm, sponge cake is a different thing, is it? Okay. Uh... Where are we going? Hello. You look like a hiker. I hope you have like a, a rock or a ground Pokemon. That would be really useful. No, you have a centret, of course you do. Oh my god, Sentra looks so swole in this generation, Jesus! Alright, I'm gonna use Growth again. I probably won't get enough use out of it for it to be worthwhile, but we'll try. Oh, he's defense curling, oh no.
Okay, well, I think we might actually be able to do this, especially if we get a crit at some point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You only got a hundred and nine experience for that? <laughs> Come on. Oh hello, there's a, a item to grab there. Let's go grab that. Uh Ryle is finished. Pow. Uh, we're going to give you one of these. Uh, Shask says, I guess since England never added a Scandinavian country to their empire, the English-speaking world never learned about blood cake, uh, oh my god, Gred Torta, or <laughs> Flerdeskum's Kaga. No, I definitely never learned about any of those things. Um, although they all sound interesting. Well, uh, you say England never added a Scandinavian country to their empire. A Scandinavian country added us to their empire. Uh, <laughs> did I pronounce it correctly? That's nice. And very unexpected. <laughs> uh, it's, the, it's the... Four months of doing Swedish on... Uh, Duolingo. That's that's how I have a vague understanding of how certain Scandinavian words might be pronounced. <laughs> Jessica says that was the most Danish pronunciation ever, which I know enough about to know that that's not necessarily a compliment, but still. Uh... <laughs> um... Okay. Oh, hello, small child. I wasn't really expecting you to come this way. Child says, do you want to know short why I wear shorts when I run through the long grass? Is it because you want to get ticks? Uh, Shasko says, what Scandinavian country added England to its empire? I'm not exactly sure, but like we were ruled by, I think, the Danes? Because we were the Dane law for a while. They may, may alternately or instead have been Norwegian, I don't know. Uh, in, in English history classes, we're just taught it as the Vikings. But that's I, I don't know how much that narrows it down. Uh, well, this isn't ideal. Shasko says that was before Flodomskaga, of course. Uh, of course, definitely. Imagine I'm nodding my head vigorously. Uh, I actually I was nodding my head vigorously, but you couldn't see. So it was pointless. Uh, am I going to get wrecked? I think I'm going to get wrecked by this monkey. Okay, I'm now at minus two defense. So his next lick does twice as much damage as the previous one. Theoretically, I still survive that. Okay, that actually didn't do very much at all. Sasuke says, it's okay, I just feel like we're talking to people in voice chats too. Maybe maybe I was maybe I was born to be like a proper VTuber instead of a PNG tuber. Oh, that's a shame. I would have beaten you otherwise. Okay. Uh Come back for little Firefox. Why did I not nickname you Firefox instead of Fennel? I don't know. Although it gives his, his little icon some character that I've added very, very slightly fennel flavours to his tail and his ears. Although I don't know anyone other than me recognised him as being fennel uh, But that's by the by. 
Amazing! We won! <gasps> oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. Da -da -da! Oh my god, she's got he's got way bigger stuff coming out of his ears this time. Uh, well, that's wonderful. Our Fennekin evolved, our first evolved Pokemon of the of the game. That's very exciting. I gotta drop a save. Uh, which means that that picture that I drew of Fennel is, is, of course, already out of date. It lasted for most of a stream. Jessica says Pikachu is technically an evolution. Okay, but we didn't evolve it, you know. Uh, child says, I really like shorts. You should give them a try sometime. Thanks, child. I'll bear that in mind. Okay, there's some way with trees, cuttable trees over here. Uh, which I can't get to. Ah! And we're at Camphria Town. Tesco says, you missed the part where he said it's because they're comfy and easy to wear. No, I know, I saw it. I just... It was a very boring answer. Oh, God. Am I being monitored at all times by my little, like, holographic Alexa? Is that the plot of this game? Lysander said he wanted to make the world beautiful. It's like his hologram app scanning my face to determine if I'm beautiful enough to exist in his his new utopia. Is that what's happening? Because that's hideously sinister, if so. I tell you what, we've not got very far this, this stream. I was sort of expecting to get to the next gym, but we're nowhere close. Our red suit's the new hot trend. Well, we might be close physically, I don't know, but we're definitely not close level-wise. Okay. Oh, the name rater! Yes, I'd love you to rate a nickname. I want you to make the spelling of my Royolu's name more complicated. I have to scroll up to where Fionn was spelling. Really? Oh my god. R Y I L. <laughs> there we go. Riley. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> just cause it says is that how Fionn pronounced Riley? It's how they spelt Riley when I was commenting on Riley being a boring name. Uh, uh oh you only have one person. Does that mean you only sell me the normal stuff? I guess you do, okay. Well let's grab another ten Pokeballs. <laughs> That's because Fion has a way of fionizing names. What a what a a, a charming way of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, sorry, for, for, for people not reading chat. Uh, uh, Chaskor is occasionally referred to by Fionn as Sassy Kajor. Uh, I assume based on the misreading of their handle, I don't really know how it happened. Uh, these things just do happen sometimes. Uh, right. Good grief. Okay, let's have a, have a wander around Campria Town, see if they've got a fashion shop, which would be nice. Tesco says, I think the double S confused them. 
Oh, okay. I don't know who you're talking about, but you're not very pleasant. Oh, it's a house full of... punks. Ah! Okay, you're someone, are you? What the hell are trays? Oh, okay. Okay, that's not really convenient. I've never used any of those systems in the Pokemon game. Okay, so it's now called Cassius PC. Uh, Shasko says, I thought the internet was maintained by furries, not punks. Well, the original Pokemon box system is maintained by Bill, who did turn himself, quote-unquote, by accident into, like, a half-Pokemon, half-human hybrid. So that bit of the internet is maintained by furries, but I guess in France, the French internet is maintained by punks. Thief. Nice. That's a useful move. Uh, I'll probably put that on a Pokemon, actually. I know I said I was going to do this with full swipe and then couldn't, but... Thief. Ah, uh, it is a physical move, and I can't put it on either of my physical attackers, which is... Slightly annoying. Uh, still, it's probably more useful than some of the other moves that you guys have. Yeah, we're gonna replace your Howl, because you're never gonna use Howl. Chesk says, oh my gosh, is Bill a reference to how furries made important code and services that like 95% of the modern internet relies on? I don't think so. I think it's just a funny thing to happen, kind of like that movie The Fly, when you've got like a system that teleports or digitizes Pokemon, I think. There we are. I'm guessing your attack stat is pretty horrible, but it's going to be more use to you than Growl. Also, listening to this music as it gets like slightly garbled by the emulation software is draining. This is says, wait, no, you need that. You need Growl? What do you need Growl for? <laughs> I feel like RP animals in my d, d game just now. Well, you can RP as a blink dog by using the teleport move. Oh, an Ultra Ball. Just the one Ultra Ball. Nothing too excessive, you understand here. Uh, we are French, after all. Sesco says, I play a Path of the Beast Barbarian in my friend's campaign. Um... Well, you can ask your friend and teammates the actual goat, or the actual fox, I guess. Or the sort of dog thing. Would any of those help? What does this say? You can taste the ages. Yum. Pow. Alright. You're all doubled up for your next super training. That's kind of it that I want to do for you for now in terms of the bags I've got. I don't want to do super training on screen because it's really boring. Uh, I want to have a look, see if... Will Pokemon and me do stuff in the background? Uh, I'm guessing no, based on how this has taken over both of my screens. Brixen is just, just sitting there. Oh, hello. Why are you there? You're not even at the head of my party. Why are you the only one I can access in Pokemon and me? That's really weird. Oh, hello. He walks around as I walk around. Oh, I can switch you out for someone else. I see. And they all have different stats. 
Right. Okay. Well, I guess I'll keep you out there. You can wander around while I walk around. Hotel Campria. I'm the owner, doorman, concierge, bellhop, housekeeping staff, and the cook. That's a good job Boom Boom isn't in here. Yesterday they were talking about uh, their feelings regarding uh, reception staff at the hotel. Ah, oh, more goodies, thank you. A full heal. Right, what's upstairs? Taste the ages. It's such a weird advert for a town. I'm not even sure if it is an advert. Shock ribbon. The skiddo. Okay. Can I get that for all of my Pokemon? Or does that only happen once? Wow, that must be really annoying if you're trying to ribbon master a Pokemon. And there's a ribbon that you can only get once. Uh... How's it going, friend? I'm- oh, no, it's you. Hello. No? Oh god, okay. I accidentally wandered into Mr. Bonding's hotel room and he's given me an O power. Okay, well he's gone now, at least. I was hoping you wouldn't recognize me with my haircut. <laughs> it is, isn't it, Shaskor? I'm glad I'm not the only one. Okay, Dick. Uh, what else is around here? Hello, human. Oh, a berry juice. God, this is a very generous town of people. Oh, but apparently we can't drink it. Oh, I have to have one on me. Okay. I'll be back in a sec. I'm not sure what he's after, but he's going to give me stuff. Oh, okay. So there used to be a king. Sweetheart! Aww! Thanks. What do they do? <laughs> Jessica says, don't show me off, I'm shy. Are you actually part fairy at this point? I thought you were pure psychic, because of else. No, you are part fairy! Okay, but you're shy, so that's fine. We'll come up. We'll go grab Flamebe. Uh, well, yeah. What does a what does a sweetheart do? Piece of cloyingly sweet chocolate. Yeah, it restores twenty HP. Oh, okay. I'm not sure that's an item that was desperately needed in the Pokemon world, and I don't think it's made its way to later gens. Seska says, what kind of trainer are you, not even knowing the type of your so-called MVP? Oh no, you've caught me, you've called me out! Uh, it's cause, it's cause, what kind of trainer am I is an old kind of trainer, who's used to not having fairies around. I thought it was just Gardevoir that had the, the part fairy typing, I hadn't realised it was all of them. Uh... The baby. Oh, I hate it. It's awful trying to get out of the Pokemon box system, I swear. Uh, do -do -do. Right. Where was that person? I think they're up here. Oh, a berry. Uh, I don't know which kind I want. I'm going to go with a spear. Wonderful. Oh, I should have checked your bins as well. It's always good to check bins. Although, given I've already got so much stuff from this house. No. Is 
is this Pokemon wandering around on my bottom screen actually doing anything for me? He's thinking a lot about um, puffs or puffins or whatever they're called. But is he doing anything? Is he going to discover a puff at some point? Asking for puffins. <laughs> that one. Uh, you're going to tell me I can't leave. How do you know whether I've been to Shibonu Castle or not? It's just because you need to play with them. <laughs> play! Hello. Oh, there was a decorate button as well that I missed. Okay. Hi there. H hello? Sir? Ah! Hello! Oh, Ooh. Do you do you know that you've got like a stick just kind of sticking out of your tail? Has anyone mentioned that to you? What is this stuff coming out of yours, by the way? Like seriously, is there is there flesh in there or is it just hair? Because it's very shaped for just hair. I have no idea if you enjoy tummy rubs, but you're sort of vaguely canine, so let's assume that you do. Uh, Tesco says witchcraft. Oh, I've got puffs and puffs up here in many different varieties. Oh god, that nearly killed the whole simulation. Hello, do you want a chocolate one? Chocolate's always the best. Chesco says, I seem to really like the tummy rubs. That is a good face, isn't it? I could play a game. Tile puzzle. What the hell is this? I've never engaged with Pokemon the me like at all. Uh, tap two tiles to sort their positions. Okay. Uh, hang on. No, that needs to go up there. That, I guess, needs to go up there. That needs to go down here somewhere. Oh. There we go. Amazing. 27 seconds. Ah, I can earn more Poke Puffs. They're called Puffs, not Puffs. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, that was nice, I guess. Uh. Hello. Uh, so, are you now gaining all these various different stats? Because I did those things with you. If I look at you on the Switch screen, I found a Cream Ring Cushion. What does that do? Decorate. Pink wallpaper, blue wallpaper, orange wallpaper. Interior items. I see, I can give you a donut. There's also blue spots here that I don't know what they do. Sure. Oh, I can put them in places. You can have another chocolate one. Uh, Shesko says, do you want to know how this affects the normal gameplay of Pokemon? If you get enough of a Pokemon Ami level with things, I see. I think that's how in this gen you get the like special effects of like, X Pokemon toughed it out so you wouldn't be sad. And you can throw off status effects and get bonus critical hits and stuff. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I have always ignored the Pokemon the Me function, because it also feels very cheesy. 
uh, to have these random like bonuses and benefits. Uh, I think also you need to like max out your Pokemon ME level with an Eevee to evolve it into a Sylveon. Although I'm not really sure how you do that. I'm not sure how that's measured. Uh... Okay, well I've left you with a little Pokepuff there. Oh, this is the castle, okay. Something something Mega Evolution happens here? Oh, hello, it's Shauna. Jessica says it feels very anime and power of friendship when it triggers, though. Uh, um, hang on, let's listen to what this black belt has to say. This castle, chateau, if you will, is a manor house of a noble family. There's history. During that history, the of this castle gave away a lot of their stuff. The end. Well, the world is Mega Revolution. No one knows. Oh, hello. Yeah, what you've done is you've asked him about your professor's, like, really niche PhD topic. And he's just a random black belt guy. <laughs> who has no idea what you're talking about. Uh... Okay. Well, that was cryptic and weird. You want to go to Route 7? Sure. Jessica says, why is there a crowd to go at this French manor? That's an excellent point! It's not how I'd choose to dress like a tour guide. If I was thinking, what's going to be the appropriate tour guide for this lovely French castle slash manor? Uh... Goodies. Steal all of the things. Okay, I can't read the book. Oops, run away. Down the other stairs. Oh well, there really isn't anything here at all. Uh, sure. Jessica says, I really like that mechanic because it finally felt like my Pokemon and I had a relationship. See, I, maybe because I'm a Gen 2 kid, but I, I always felt that friendship was like a fine enough mechanic for that. And it felt, uh, particularly being introduced in this specific generation, when there were lots of changes that made the game feel a lot easier, it felt like another thing that was added that made the game easier. And I, I like the compromise that they've struck in later gens, where regular Pokemon friendship yeah, regular Pokemon friendship is capped at a value which counts as like max friendship for all the important things that rely on friendship, like evolution. But uh if you want, you can use special friendship raising stuff that will get it up to the true max value, and then you'll proc all of the kind of weird bonus effects. Uh, I'm gonna wander onto Route 7. Oh, is this the place with the, uh... the, the mansion? Yeah, I know they said they were going this way, that's why I'm going the other way. Oh, fine. Um... Hello? Where am I? Am I at a farm? Hello? Am I being given land? Am I becoming a member of the landed gentry? Plant a berry in the soft soil. Thanks. Also, thanks. Tesco says, this is not where Shana San <laughs> wants you to go either. Yeah, no, I'm getting that. Uh, a spring clotad, as opposed to a squirt bottle.
Thanks? Okay. Right, you know that this is not... Nothing is ever going to be planted here, right? Because I've played enough Pokemon games... I've played enough Pokemon games to know that I can't be trusted to come back and harvest the berries when they're ripe. And that they will instead just turn themselves into mush over time. So, uh... Nothing is ever going to be planted here. I promise. Hi there. You're strange people. No. Hi there. No. I'll tell you what, I've left out this poffin for my Brakeson, and it, it hasn't touched it. It hasn't even gone anywhere near it. It's just sort of gone back and forth in a line, left and right across the screen. Oh! The Snorlax! Hi there! I have a sneak suspicion I'm not going to be a high enough level for you. Uh, Shaska says, I think it wants a pink one. How do you know? Oh, because it's thinking about a pink one. Huh? Okay. Someone pinched the pokey flute. It's a Parfum Palace. Right, so this is about as far as I've ever gotten in the game. Like, I've been up to the, the palace or the mansion or whatever place it is. Caught the venipede near there. And that's basically it, I think. That's as much as I remember. Can I decorate? Uh, okay. Wait, did it want one with a cherry on it? Yes, you want a pink one with a cherry on, okay. Okay. He still seems uninterested. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, gosh, yeah, I'd forgotten that the camera was funky here. All right, let's drop a save, because it's been a while since we last did that. Uh, we've got about 10-ish minutes, which I suspect is going to be enough time for us to have, like, one battle. Oh yeah, there's the place with the really tall grass. I can't remember what the effect of the really tall grass is, but it's there. Might be that you can't roller skate in it, possibly. Uh, and then there's these people. Oh, and the bushes can have Pokemon in them. I think. Chesco says, oh, this is where you catch the sword. Is it? Is this where you catch Hone Edge or whatever he's called? Whatever the baby one is called. Okay, hi there, tourist lady. I hope you're not too strong for me. Jessica says, both my brother and I had it on our teams. I mean, it's a tempting prospect, and it's a Pokemon I've never used. Now, okay, that didn't hurt that much. Oh, don't do that! I just raised my attack! Uh, Shaska says, I think the final evolution may need trading, though. Ah. Hmm. Uh. That's probably a thing that can be fixed. Uh, if it's not a thing that can be fixed properly, it's a thing that I will fix with, uh, like, PK Hex or something. Okay, this is not going well. I'm down a lot of attack and very paralyzed. But we've nearly beaten the Pikachu, so... There we go. Pikachu's down. Bye! Bing! 
Uh, we are gonna swap you out though. Partly because there's bringing in a flying type. Uh, and partly because you are... Oh, I should actually have left you in for one so you could get... I could switch train you. That would have been sensible. But I didn't do that. Jaskle, you're up. Ooh, you got keen eye. You know, I might actually swap you back in. Come on, Skiddo. I'm sure you can deal with a 1 HP confused Pidgey. It's not optimal, the way we've done this, but it's fine. Oh, it's not confused anymore, never mind. That's not ideal, you know. Um, oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow, 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 ow. Bonk! Okay, it's dead. A <laughs> critical hit. How necessary. Right. That's a shame, because it would have been great to kill this with the goat. I think I might survive one attack, because he's probably only got rubbish ones. Well, he's got Disable, apparently. Oh no! We'll try again, because he didn't hit me. Okay, he's tail lit. What moves does a side duck have at this level? Oh, we didn't even barely do any damage. Uh, I'll be one sec, I'm looking up what Psyduck's learn set is in Gen 6 by level 11. Uh, okay, you do have Scratch, which will probably kill me now that I'm Tail Whipped. So I guess we gotta swap back out. Uh... Doesn't have confusion yet. But I'll send in. No, I'll send in. Ryolu. I need to put that at the top of my list, actually. Right, okay, Salak's dead. Skiddo survived. Cornucopia grew to level 12. What's that? Leech Seed? Ooh, yes please. And we defeated Taurus Hiroko! Rude? Rude lady! Very rude lady! Exceptionally rude lady! Bad! Uh, anyway. Sheskul, can you, uh, take us home? <clears throat> I actually need to have a drink, hang on a sec. Oh, good grief. Right. The old, the old throat is definitely uh, definitely starting to go. It's good that we're going to be wrapping up soon. Okay. Next trainer.
Six again. Six, 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 six. Uh -huh. Okay, we might be able to take this on ourselves. I also forgot to switch the, all of your moves around because I'm a fool. Well, that looks promising. I should have leap seeded first. Uh, but I didn't because I'm a fool. Okay, that's not ideal. I think it's time to start hitting him before he lowers our defense too much. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's not good. Well, we can really dish out the hits now. But, uh, we're also really going to be taking them as well, so... Oh, I should have used Tackle there, actually. Oh, a Rout! Okay, no, we'll keep battling. Because <clears throat> Routes doesn't hit us on our defense anyway. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I hope you stand up to a hit slightly better than that, Shaskor. Uh, oh, Gulpin. We're going to keep going for now. We'll see how it goes. It might only be able to hurt us with Pound. Oh, it's got Yawn. That's no good. Okay, we'll see that. Shaska says, I've been... Beaten up by a lot of people with a black belt in karate. I also just realized that my leech seed didn't go off, and I'm not sure why. Oh! Huh, ah, well, I guess I'm not yawned anymore. That's fine. IRL, you've been beaten up by a lot of people with a black belt in karate? Or. Or, or are we talking about Little Ralph? I'm not really sure. And I'm concerned either way. Ah, I see! You have a brown belt in karate yourself! Ooh! Well, that's very impressive! Uh... Hello. Hello, I just love seeing Pokemon smile. That's nice. Um, well, I think we're gonna wander up to this big old house. And that's probably where we're going to leave off for today. Oh my god, the way it moves when you like walk is just so... Well, that's a very impressive thing to leave it on. Uh, Shesko says, granted that was probably the worst brown belt at the club. Oh! Uh, yeah, that's where we're going to leave things off for today. Uh, with that nice, lovely, dramatic, impressive view. Uh, so, if you have enjoyed watching, uh, Shesko says, oh, sorry, I'm interrupting my wrap up as I always, always do because I'm bad at this. Uh, Shesko says, still not a lot of Pokemon people can claim to have a brown belt at all. I definitely can't. Uh, I mean, I have a belt that is the color brown, but I don't have a brown belt. Um, yeah, so that is it for me for today. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Shesko, Fion, and Yi for stopping by in the chat. It's always lovely to have people to chat to. Uh, if you have enjoyed watching and you're here with me on Twitch, uh, please do remember to drop a follow. Uh, and if you're watching this on my YouTube, where it'll be put up with uh, all parts of this in the future, and the single part of this that has already come out, uh, then please do drop a like and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more of those parts as they appear. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter at this demise on Mastodon at eldritch.cafe slash at this demise. 
Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm aiming for midday again, but it might be slightly late, the same as it was today. It depends how things go. You know how it is. Uh, where I will be playing some Heaven's Vault again. We're, we're jumping in to a new game plus in that. Because I went through the whole base game and didn't understand anything that was going on. And apparently you understand more if you play a new game plus. So that's what we're doing. Uh, but until then, I hope each and every one of you lovely people has an absolutely amazing day. And I will see you all next time. Ta-ra! Bye!